everybody, Sean with Tab Off Road. Today we're going to be installing our tree kicker on this Polaris Razor XP1000. Um, as always, if you guys like what you see, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, like us on Facebook, and follow us on Instagram. Be sure to check out our website because there is a variety of different color options available for all the parts for this. Um, if you don't see the one that you like, you can always order it uncoated or raw so that way you can have it it to whatever specific color you'd like. Now we're going to install our three hauser bolts into the three holes in the frame. We already have two of them installed. I'm going to show you how to do it on this top one up here. But we're going to take the stock screw and back that out until it's hanging on just by a couple of threads. And essentially what we're doing is we're going to reinstall this screw into the hole that's in our hauser bolt. And that'll hold it in place while we get our rock slider in place. Spot right there, a um, couple threads left. I'm just going to try and fish that in there and find the tip of that screw. You can kind of feel it set when you find it. Once you feel it, then you're just going to start threading the screw into the hauser bolt. All right. One trick that might help is getting this nut tightened down onto the bolt itself so that way you can just have something to grip on. Because if you don't, then it just kind of spins inside of the frame. This will just help um, spin it into the position that you need it. And then once, once you get that in place, you can kind of feel it set. We'll get those tightened all the way down. Again, that's a T30. got all of our hauser bolts in place, these two uh, loosely installed make our fitment a, a little bit easier just to get things lined up. With that in place we'll install our nuts. Again, that's a three quarter. All right, that's all there is to it. Just three bolts, pretty simple. Um, thanks for, thank you guys for watching.